All right, welcome back to the channel. This is the second video. The first one we actually just filmed like an hour ago, and that one was the Ruger Mark I, uh, integrally suppressed. But this channel mostly concentrates on uh, full, full auto stuff, so they're all transferable machine guns. If you like that, definitely subscribe because you'll see a lot of that. Um, but as my first uh, machine gun video, um, we're gonna we're gonna do a new one for me uh, because I just got this gun maybe a, a week or so ago, and I got it's my newest one. Well, I got two of them at the same time. One's a uh, and a full auto AUG, and then this one. And this one is the cheapest gun that I, cheapest machine gun I have. But when I say cheap, it's still car money. It's not it's not cheap like you know you're not gonna find the money for it in the couch cushions. The um, <clears throat> but I always wanted this one. Um, I, I mostly bought it just because you know I have memories growing up, and this applies to a lot of you guys. You know, it's like when I was like in the 80s, I remember I had literally a, a Tech 9 like this. You know, it was not one on one scale, but uh, it was a battery powered squirt gun. And you'd fill the mag with, with water that had like invisible ink. So it would like, it would, it would like dye somebody's shirt and then the color would fade away. I don't I hadn't seen that. I don't know if that, that dye is like toxic or something that they found out later. Maybe that's what's wrong with me, I don't know. But uh, I always wanted one and surprisingly, I've never had one up until like, I never shot one, I never, any like semi-automatic, let alone a machine gun. But <clears throat> I, didn't have one until about a month ago. I bought a KG99 first, and then a KG9 second, and then this full auto third. So I just went like full, full freaking like steam on these things. But uh, I hadn't shot any of them. I hadn't shot this one, so we're gonna shoot it together. Uh, I assume this is going to have a very high rate of fire. Um, the king of the hill, at least in my collection, is the Micro Uzi. And that thing is moving at like 1800 plus rounds a minute. So mine, it's got an open bolt just like this. And that one, um, it had the bolt, it had a tungsten weight added to the bolt uh, to slow it down. Because without that weight, it's traveling at 2100 rounds per minute which is like just absurdly fast and you you'll have issues with the follower um, trying to keep up and so the converter that or the person that converted it into a full auto named La France is known for his like stellar work and something that he did was add that tungsten bolt to slow down to about 1700 1800 dependent on the ammo so if you're running hot ammo, uh, then it's going to be faster than if you have something like subsonic or something. So, and that's why for this video, um, we're just going to really test the rate of fire, see if we can dethrone that micro, because apparently these things are really quick. You know, um, just like the the Max, I think the Mac 11 A1, the 380 is also it's it's cooking as well it's got probably a 1500 rounds per minute something like that if i had a guess i hadn't clocked one but i would assume it's around there uh this one's also an open bolt like the mac like the like the micro uzi um and those open bolts are are um are traditionally some of the fastest like shooting and so that's that's for those that don't know that's why it's called an open bolt when you cock it back whatever it stays open and then you pull the trigger it slams forward and hits the round and then so on and so on so this one 
uh, conversion wise, you don't want to mess with like the the most common ones are registered receivers. The that means like their info when they registered it pre 1986 was uh, on the plastic receiver, which can break. Uh, you know, if people if you run ammo that's like way too hot, uh, you might you might crack the receive the lower receiver where some of these pins go through you know so i didn't want to take that chance not when you're spending car money on it you don't want your car money to like be almost worthless or like bandaged up with epoxy and all of this and that so what i got is a registered bolt this is a bng machine bolt uh, you can move it between hosts. So, like I said, I got the KG99, KG9, and the Tech9, which is what this host is. But I can use any of those guns, a DC9, whatever, as a host. I can just move this bolt to it. Um, with the KG9, uh, a lot of the registered guns in the 80s, what they did was get a KG9 and basically modify it to run full auto and then register the plastic blower. Uh, that's why those things got banned in the first place because they were too easy to make full auto. So the ATF basically banned most open bolts. And those ones got grandfathered in. They said it's illegal to move the KG9 bolt to like a KG99. KG99 is a KG9 with a closed bolt to kind of abide by the ATF's ruling or regulations. Um, and so you, you wouldn't be able to move a KG9 bolt. Like I wouldn't be able to move my semi-automatic KG9 open bolt to my, my uh, closed bolt uh, KG99. But this is a different bolt altogether. Uh, it's BNG machine, like I said. Uh, upon an inspection, it looks really high quality. They've they're known from like in the 80s and early 80s as like the go-to for bolts. So if you see a registered bolt, it's probably well, maybe it's like a 50% chance that it's uh, BNG or BG machine. So we'll test it out, but like I said, we're going to see what the rate of fire is, see if that micro will get dethroned. But in the next video, I'll, I'll have my KG99, KG9, and this one, and we'll just like run through the history of it. And, um, but this, this is basically a video to do the first shots. You know, like I said, I, I got it a week ago. Uh, never fired it, so we're gonna fire it together. Um, I chose the white box stuff uh, just because this is like your common Walmart stuff, uh, range ammo. It's it's not like super weak and it's not super hot. Uh, it's 360 foot pounds of energy, so we will be able to get a, get a good baseline at the rate of fire. So if I had to guess, about 1,500 rounds a minute um, for this guy, but maybe we can slow down the video uh, and see if we can compute uh, <clears throat> the actual rate of fire for Winchester White Box. If we go with some hotter stuff, then it's probably going to increase it, you know, two to 300 rounds per minute extra. So. With that, um, well, actually, another thing, another reason I got this one, I mean, aside from always wanting it because it's quite a sinister looking gun, I think everybody can agree. Um, let's see. It's quite a sinister looking gun, but what I want to do is try to make it a little bit more practical. Um, I want to add a stock to it, uh, so... I'll design uh, and uh, have machined aluminum kind of backplate to run a telescoping stock. I already got 
most of the stuff I need to start catting it up. And then um, I'm gonna do a red dot mount for the top. I'm gonna run a RMR just for kind of cosmetics. I think it's going to be pretty nice. And then I'm gonna add a, a slot kind of like the um, MP9, which is the interdynamics full auto like that they unsuccessfully try to sell to the militaries. Um, so I'll do that and see how it compares as far as shootability to my uh, MP5, which holds the throne for me as the most easy to shoot, like just enjoyable submachine gun that I own. And I think a lot of people agree the MP5 is a, is a, you know, a hard one to beat as far as shootability, but let's see how close we can get with this guy at one one quarter of the cost you know so or a third of the cost so we'll see but with that let's um let's meet me out at the range and uh see if we can compute the rate of fire all right guys it's the moment of truth we're gonna do a mag dump with this thing and uh See if we can compute the rate of fire. Um, running that Winchester white box, set the target to about 20 feet. Might be a little bit less. I'm gonna aim for the bottom circle as this thing's gonna climb. We'll see how reliability is with this one. I know they can be kind of finicky, but this one's an open bolt. Uh, so typically open bolts run like sewing machines. We'll see if that's the case with this one. So without further ado, Lord. Well, she ran like a top. <laughs> that was fast. That was really fast. All right, battleships. Ruger Mark III versus Full Auto Tech 9. No more playing around. Woo. Dang. One, two, three. Almost four. Not bad. <laughs> 